All right, what's up? So, I'm Devin. Um, I like taking pictures. So, uh, my name is Devin, otherwise known as Capriotta Media on Instagram. I'll throw up uh, my Instagram page somewhere if I can figure that out. Uh, but yeah, so I told myself that, you know, this has always been something I wanted to do. Uh, I've always wanted to get into vlogging never really knew how to start never knew what to start you know there's a million youtube videos out there on how to get into vlogging you know but at the end of the day like anybody can sit there and tell you what to do and how to do it right you just gotta do it so that's what we're doing we're just gonna send it like screw it we're doing it live this being the first one uh the first one that i'd like to keep Okay, that doesn't make sense. See, grammar's gonna be what gets me. Grammar's gonna be what gets me because like, I'll sit there, my brain like works faster than my mouth can compute, right? So I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna start jumbling up words and we're gonna have like, if this ends up taking off, there's gonna be like a secret freaking language that y'all are gonna end up having to understand. Uh, it's gonna be a good time, but we're, we're in this together. I'd like to do this a lot more consistently, you know? It's, um... Like I said, it's always been a dream of mine to kind of like walk around and share, you know, my vision by way of like photography and doing vlogs and stuff. You know, it's, it's always something I've wanted to do, um, but I've just, oh, I've never took the time to actually sit down and like do it, you know? All right. So yeah, as I said, this being the, uh, the first official one, you know, I, I decided to go full on in. We're going to, we're going to send it. I figured this one might as well be the introduction, you know what I mean? Like, tell you guys who I am, kind of what started me out in photography, you know, where I want to go, where I want to take this this skill, this art, you know, um, and kind of just take you guys along with me as, as I grow and, like, you know, get to experience my life on a day-to-day -day basis. Not day-to-day, -day, I ain't bringing y'all with me everywhere because it's a little time-consuming and my life ain't that exciting, but... But yeah, so to start off, um, what kind of started me off in photography is I grew up huge into the car scene, huge into cars. I mean, you know, had a, a pretty, pretty awesome car collection as a child, a little Hot Wheels. Uh, and for men, I mean, it was just something I've always been into. Um, so my job uh, gave me the opportunity to move to Germany uh, which I feel like is a major hub for just some of the most important and historic just automotive things ever, period, you know? Um, Stuttgart, I'm coming for you one day. I will go to the Porsche factory, and you, I, I will either try and pawn off one of my kidneys for a GT3, or I'm going to find some old, rich German lady. Uh, I am married, but I think my wife would understand that I'm going to divorce her marry an old rich German lady uh, so I can get my GT3. I'm telling you right now, within the next few years, if this works out, right, jet green, GT3, bronze wheels. Dream spec, I will own one. Anyways, um, I have the world's loudest chair too, so ignore that, ignore that. We're just gonna breeze right on past that. I'm gonna get a new chair, I promise. One day, I will get a new chair, but it is what it is. So yeah, I, I moved out. I lived in Germany for a while. Bought my first, I don't even want to call it a car that I could, a, or a tuner type car. I bought a Volkswagen Jetta GLI 2017. The only thing that I did to that car and called it a build, right, was I put the dinkiest freaking blow off valve on it and did nothing else. No, I lied. Uh, I bought a new speed power module, right? The thing that gave it like maybe two extra horsepower, put that thing in it uh, with a blow off valve and it was the most obnoxious car I've ever owned because you couldn't hear the exhaust. So you're sitting there and I'm winding it out and I'll, like everybody outside, all you heard was pss, pss. There was no exhaust noise, nothing, just blow off. That was it. Bought that, um, started meeting more like-minded car people, right? Ended up going to one of these car shows and I saw one car online, right? It was a 2015 BMW M235i. And when I tell you this thing was, it was interesting looking. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post a picture up of it. It was interesting looking when I bought it. 
but I had to have it. I don't know what it was that caught my attention. Absolutely had to have that car. Bought it, started to get more frequent into car meets. You know, just tried to expose myself as much as I could to the German car scene, just the European car scene in general, uh, and instantly fell in love. You know, the, the fact that I could legally take this car that I started to build and I could take it and, and max out the Speedo. Like I bought the whole Speedo, I'm gonna use the whole Speedo, right? Just fell in love with it, right? And more and more, you know, I wanted more pictures of my car for, for Instagram, I wanted to start taking pictures of cars. So one day I went out and bought myself a little, uh, it was like the European equivalent to the, the, the Canon T7i. Uh, it was a Canon 2000, like EOS 2000D. If those are not at all equivalent, don't quote me on it. It's okay. Don't chop my head off, but it's all good. We don't send it anyways. From there, that was it. That was all she wrote. I started taking pictures of everything and anything that I could. I had a uh, little, little group of car friends out there that, I mean, we were middle of the night in my neighborhood trying to figure out how to light paint. And if I can find, if I can scroll the archives that deep, I'll like, I will roast myself and show you guys how awful these pictures were light painting was like my first major uh project we'll say with automotive photography and it, yeah your boy was not great i'll leave it at that i'm gonna be nice to myself today but yeah from there i mean i remember the day that i bought what i thought then was my dream camera it was the sony uh a7 II. got that and since you know i've had the opportunity to shoot for, for many different, you know, uh, social media teams, you know what I mean? Stance Daily, ILB Drivers Club, I've uh, been featured on Stance Works, actual website, uh, their Instagram a few times. I've had the opportunity to be featured with BMW M uh, multiple times. They, they show me some love on a consistent basis. And if any of y'all are watching from this, which probably not, but I appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you guys for building great cars and starting a extremely expensive addiction uh, to buying these cars and having them just absolutely grenade themselves so i it we'll talk we'll talk bmw you and i might need to be on good terms but keep doing what you're doing well yeah you know it, it's it's been a long road and i still feel like i'm still learning i'm still kind of trying to iron out my style you know I'm, i tend to i find myself when i take a set of photos right regardless of what it is uh, I feel like my biggest downfall is I don't have a legitimate style, right? I feel like there's no Capriati Media style. You know, I, I kind of edit based on how I'm feeling, my moods, um, and what I feel like fits that scenery or that car or whatever it is the most. You know, I can't I can't say that I sit there. I have I have one single preset pack. Take one of my presets, try and slap it on a picture, decide I absolutely hate it, and then completely start all the way over and just kind of edit based on how I feel. You know, I'm trying to iron it out, figure out where I'm going with it, but my story, when it gets into how I started photography and stuff like that, right? So I think one of my, my biggest goals, where I kind of see myself down the road, I would absolutely love to shoot for, and I mean, I feel like every automotive photographer would. I absolutely dream of shooting for Porsche. I grew up uh, throughout my photography career, we'll call it, uh, watching a lot of North Borders and the, the the videos that he got with, I think it was like Porsche Duncaster in Australia, inspired the hell out of me, you know? I, I watched him walk into a Porsche dealership and then just be like, hey, take this out for an entire day and just go take pictures. And th that's like my absolute goal. I have, a, I have actually quite a few friends that have those kind of relationships with car dealerships. And it, it's not just like, oh yeah, you know, it's this... This guy is working for, for you know, a, a Geo Metro dealership, and they're letting they're like, I know it's a high high goal, right? But I'd like to shoot for a, a sports car, an exotic car company, you know? Uh, I'd like to start dabbling in a little bit more motorsport photography, and, and I'm trying desperately, desperately to get back out to Europe. I've, I feel like I started my photography career entirely too late. It was right when I was about to leave. Germany, and I am literally doing everything in my power to get back out there, just Europe in general. End state for me is I would love to end up in Switzerland. Thank you, Cars with Luke, or Luke from Cars with Luke. Grammar is important. For just absolutely burning Switzerland into my brain, because not only have I seen nothing but gorgeous landscape, that is everything I want, like landscape photography and just automotive photography wise, 
but the amount of times I have seen him just be like, oh yeah, hey, so I have a freaking Bugatti that I'm going to take on a coffee run. This dude just handed me the keys and I was like, yeah, man, go for it. How? So apparently, you know, y'all Swiss people are just generous and give people cars for the day and I need that in my life along with my jet green GT3. So, but yeah, so that's kind of where I see myself, where I want to go. Uh, and like I said, I, I always told myself I'm going to end up doing this. Uh, the only way to actually get it done is to sit back and get it done. So, like I said, this will be one of many. Uh, it's going to be a journey, but I'm going to take you all along with me. And we'll sit back and we'll get it done. Catch you in the next one.